from the newsroom at news.com.au. Scott Morrison will attempt to hit the reset button on 2022 during his first major speech of the year today. The PM will reportedly address his handling of the Omicron crisis when he speaks at the National Press Club before revealing new plans to strengthen the economy and the health system. Mr Morrison will announce a new $2.2 billion fund to protect research and domestic supply chains, as well as two $400 bonus payments for workers in the aged care sector. To New South Wales now, a man has been charged with murder after a 19-year-old woman's body was found in a bathtub with acid on Sunday afternoon. Emergency services discovered the body after they were called to a unit following reports of a domestic incident. A 20-year-old man handed himself into police last night and will face court today. Overseas, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has apologised in Parliament for a series of lockdown breaching parties. It comes after an official inquiry into the parties found there was a failure of leadership and judgement by those in power at Number 10 Downing Street. Firstly, I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. We ask people across this country to make the most extraordinary sacrifices, not to meet loved ones, not to visit relatives before they died. And I understand the anger that people feel. Mr Johnson has vowed to fight on in office despite calls for him to resign over the scandal. To sport now, Justin Langer reportedly had a meltdown after a meeting with Cricket Australia about his future as coach. Langer is contracted until the middle of the year and was allegedly unhappy after being told he may have to reapply for his job. It's been reported that Langer will refuse to tour Pakistan in March unless he's offered a full contract renewal. To showbiz, Rihanna is expecting her first child with her partner ASAP Rocky. The pregnant singer debuted her baby bump during an outing in Harlem over the weekend. The couple have been together since 2020. And finally, actor Sean Penn has doubled down on comments that he made about masculinity in American men. He said in a new interview that he thinks men have become quite feminised and added that there are a lot of cowardly genes that lead to people surrendering their genes and putting on a skirt. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.